So, I finally got to go out to Universal Studios Hollywood in person to capture my own footage for Halloween Horror Nights construction. This is as of the 18th of June. This footage was captured. Uh, I got to go out there with a couple friends. We got to look around at the uh, Horror Nights construction and see what was going on. Um, it's moving along swiftly uh, to see a lot of things change and a lot of things um, differ and stuff. It was really cool to kind of finally see it in person. So let's 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 start off where we where we started in the morning, which was the Curious George area. So Halloween looks to be uh, probably almost completed. Um, from what I can see and what you see in the footage, interior looks um, looks complete. Uh, they're probably just doing lighting and sound now, but a lot of a lot of interior from what you can see from the outside looks about to be complete. Um, same thing with Scarecrow, uh, rumored Scarecrow may, uh, maze area right there. Um, it looks complete. Facade looks pretty much complete. It's probably doing the same thing, just lighting and testing uh, of sound and everything. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited to see what that is. So we finally got into the park and we decided to walk past the Walking Dead location. Now, the Walking Dead location has been um, sort of... It's been down, obviously. The, the, the Walking Dead has been gutted. Um, that attraction is no longer. What they're going to turn that into in the future, we don't know yet as theme park goers, but it's been down. It's been out. You know, it's been out. So the rumor has it that Evil Dead is supposed to be in this location this year, uh, which would make it a soundstage maze. Um, from the outside, it just looks like what the Walking Dead used to look like. They kind of made it blend in more to the setting of the area. But right there, obviously, is the meet and greet area for the uh, the Scooby Doo gang, uh, and they have the Mystery Machine parked right out front. So I'm curious to see what they do with this during Halloween Horror Nights. If it is going to be a location for the rumored Evil Dead maze, um, I am looking forward to seeing what that looks like. But for right now, it just kind of looks a little blended in with the rest of the surroundings. So that's kind of good, even though you know majority of that maze would would be inside the actual uh the building so uh so we took a look over at the uh which i'm about 95 percent sure la Arona maze um and it's looking great the facade looks amazing the bells are there the facade is there so it's 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 looking like la Arona. i mean you you can't really hide this maze this one's hard to hide um i want to apologize i know we're already somewhat into this video but i am currently fighting a cold right now so that's why i sound like crap but um La Llorona looks good. Uh, the facade looks good. It's bringing back a lot of memories from 2011, 2012, so I can't wait to go through this one. Should be a lot of fun. I am very much looking forward to it. We even took a look at the sides and stuff. You couldn't see much uh, other than a little peek into uh, what the walls look like. They did a good job this year of covering that up, so that kind of excites me, even as, a, as an updater for, for haunts and whatnot, because I, I really want to be surprised when I go through these mazes. Uh, this will be the first time, though, that this if this is La Llorona, that it goes in the Parisian Courtyard. Um, if you, anyone knows from the past years, uh, this maze usually was behind the now DreamWorks Theater queue, but obviously... They can't do it there no more because they had more space back in 2011, 2012, but that's because Harry Potter land wasn't there. Hogsmeade was not there. So they're putting in the Parisian courtyard this year. So I sh I I've liked every maze that's pretty much gone in the Parisian courtyard. So I'm very excited to see how La Arona does in the Parisian courtyard and how the layout will look. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. It should be a lot of fun. Then we, uh, I wanted to take the studio tour early on. Uh, there's a couple locations to, to take in mind at the studio tour. One of them is the uh, new location behind Soundstage 29, behind Transformers, uh, which is right now, and I'm, I can 95% confirm that this is going to be Killer Clowns from Outer Space, obviously because of the tent, but it's gone vertical, and um, it was cool to see the layout. Uh, I, I went on the tram multiple times uh, to, to check out the layout alone and, and to see a lot of some, some sets that might be returning, like the fun house. You could kind of see that area there and to see a lot of what this maze layout looking like. It looks dope. And actually, I, I don't know if this will be a little bit bigger than the mummy queue. I know the mummy queue is a very small uh, floor print, so I, I think this will be a little bit bigger this year, maybe. Um, but if that is, that's cool because I fucking love killer cons from outer space the maze was great in 2019 and for it to be coming back in 2022 i am beyond excited for that so that's a lot of fun 
And then at the end of the tram, we got the better look at the other side of the Curious George area to get a better look at the maze for Scarecrow, rumored Scarecrow, and the confirmed Halloween 1978. Uh, we got a better look at the facade, um, and it looks amazing. Uh, I, I'm really excited to see what this, uh, what these to bring to the table this year. Uh, Halloween 1978 we've had before, so I'm excited to see if they do anything new with it, if they try some new things. It's definitely in a new location, so I'm excited to see how they utilize the space back there. Um, and that Scarecrow is looking good for the rumored maze right now, so I'm, I'm really much... I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Then we went down to the lower lot. Now, I always have a format when I film these videos. I, I start from the top, make my way to the bottom, and then if I want to go back and, and get more footage of other things, I, I usually do. Um... We got a very good look at the Mummy Q, which is now confirmed to be Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Facade looks great. They did exactly what I was hoping they were going to do for the facade, which was put a bunch of crates and stuff out there to kind of give it that warehouse fill. So I'm excited to see uh, what this maze is going to look like. It, it, this one was one of the first ones that actually was kind of moving along swiftly with construction and it looks to be about done they probably are doing the same thing they're doing with scarecrow and halloween which is just lighting and sound uh testing and whatnot so um it's, it's just it, it, we're about the we're about at the point of horror nights construction where a lot of things are either already getting built already built or already done and they're going into the phase of sound and lighting programming and then testing um, you won't see that a lot during the day operations. They usually wait till night to do that. So that keeps it away from the audience uh, to, to not give it anything away, which I, I, I love that they do that. Um, so and they, you get the better effects at night because that's what these mazes are meant for is at night. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, Waterworld. Uh, so I'm hearing a lot of things now. Um, I'm hearing a lot of things that it might be Candyman. It may, it may not be Candyman. Uh, only time will tell with this maze. For now, the, the speculated uh, rumor for this location is Candyman. Um, you couldn't see much from it. You could see uh, it is up. Walls are up. Walls are painted. Um, but there wasn't much to really look. Usually at a certain angle, you can get a good look at the, the facade. They did a very good job this year of covering it up uh, all the way around. Um, I think that had a lot to do with Season of the Witch getting leaked uh, with that facade. And then they had to pull the plug on that one. So I'm glad that they're keeping this one very secretive because I would hate to see something else get scrapped. Um, only time will tell with this one, though. We, we will see pretty soon, hopefully, what this will be. Maybe they'll announce it very soon. But uh, we shall see. But Candyman, rumored Candyman is looking really good. Um, this is usually the smallest location for a maze. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they can put in this and, and how they could and fill this area. So we shall see. We'll keep you guys updated. We're going to make a couple more trips out there. Um, pretty soon uh later down the line in uh in a couple of in, in the next in the next coming weeks um but yeah so there's a couple things i want to talk about that i found interesting that our tour guide kind of hinted on the tour a lot of people have been talking about uh this area right here uh specifically where the big backdrop is for um you know the, the giant blue screen right next to the War of the World set, the, the Bates Motel. Um, and a lot of people have been saying a lot of the sets that they're building there right now are nope-related. I agree. They are nope-related. I don't know if it's for Horror Nights, though, yet, though, because our tour guide yesterday, uh, whose name was Miles, very nice guy, very cool guy, one of the, one of the best tour guides I've had in a long time, um, he came and said, you know, he didn't give us much, but he said, they are building something right here right now. We can't say what it is, but when the time comes, we will let you guys know. Obviously, it looks a lot like the Nope sets. Um, will they be for the Terror Tram? Don't know. Uh, or will this be... Another thing I was thinking of was I think Universal has a lot of high hopes for this movie. Jordan Peele, if you look at his track record for the movies that he's directed, written, and produced, which would be Get Out and Us... They've done amazing in the box office. Jordan Peele is now a household director. He's a household name, and he produces and, and directs and writes some of the greatest films, uh, horror films of this generation. And Nope is his next upcoming film. And I think they have a lot of high hopes for this film, and I think they want to make this, uh, this part of the studio tour attraction, like a little ride-through of it, or to further... Um, expand that knowledge of the, the the world of Hollywood and the world of cinema. Um, my theories are maybe Jordan Peele donated these sets after he was done with Nope to add them to the tour or to add them for Horror Nights. 
whether or not we get nope on the the tear tram this year or if we don't or if this becomes a future um attraction for the ter- or for the studio tour uh, i'm fine with either or Honestly, I have high hopes for Nope 2. I, I, I'm a big Jordan Peele fan, and I can't wait to see this film. I can't wait to see what he does next in his cinematic journey. Um, so I'm excited to see what they do with this. So keep in mind, if this does not come to Halloween Horror Nights, I think it's still a big win for theme park fans because a lot of these iconic sets that we will see this summer in the new movie Nope We'll be on the studio tour now, and I don't know if we'll be able to drive through them. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but they were building when we passed by the first uh, time we went on the tour, and uh, they are hard at work. It would be cool if Jordan Peele did donate the, donate these sets specifically for the Terror Tram, and it would be a brand new section for the Terror Tram that we've never gotten to experience before. So we would go beyond the War of the Worlds crash uh, set and across the street to the nope sets um so keep in mind it could be for horror nights or it could be a new attraction for the studio tour i'm leaning more towards a new attraction for the studio tour something to look at something to maybe uh, immerse you more into the studio tour but if it does come to halloween horror nights i'm definitely on board for that um and then the last thing i got i, I went back right before we left uh to the halloween uh, maze. Uh, I was down a little bit lower on the Curious George parking garage and I caught this on camera um, and it's just going to be me narrating of what I see, what I think uh, inside the maze. Um, not much, but it's still something so here's that. Fun thing you should note right here is I'm looking at the construction for Halloween. This looks to be like the ending area. Maybe, I don't know, but it looks to be like there's some carpet and some rooms in there. Something you might want to Keep in mind for Halloween, it's supposed to be based off the 1978 classic. We'll see what happens. Just thought that was interesting. And yeah, that was pretty much my trip at Universal Studios uh, yesterday. And it was a fun day, a great day with friends. Uh, I can't wait to go back and get more construction updates uh, later on in the summer. Um, but what do you guys think, man? I, I'm, it feels good to be back in the parks. That was my first time back since Halloween Horror Nights. Um, and it, it was such a good good feeling just to be back in that park again i love universal studios one of my favorite theme parks to go to um i got drenched in water world so if you guys are following the instagram stories all day on saturday uh you would see that i got drenched in water world that was a lot of fun so yeah uh what do you guys think about the HHN construction. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm excited for Halloween Horror Nights. I think this is going to be a great comeback year for them. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the very next video for another update, hopefully. And uh, you guys take it easy. Give them the love.